What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. This is Gleeful Onion and in today's video I'm gonna show you how to make a base in DayZ. Let's get it. Alright guys, so let's start by going over what we need to make a base in DayZ. What you're gonna need in your inventory. Uh, you're gonna need some nails. You're gonna need a knife. You're going to need a hammer. You're going to need a rope. You're going to need either a handsaw or a hacksaw. You're going to need some metal wire. You're going to need some sticks. You're going to need a combination lock, a shovel, and an axe. So it's a lot of things that you need. Obviously, base building in Daisy is not very easy. However, you don't need this all right at the very beginning. I just have everything ready to go so that I can show you guys nice and quick. Uh, some of these are going to use, be used in multiple parts throughout this video. Some of them are going to be used once and then that's it. Um, but if you want to start making bases from start to finish, this is everything that you're going to need. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is make a fence kit. And the way that you do that is by combining uh, rope and sticks. Let me turn my UI back on. So as you can see, it says craft fence kit. Uh, you can also craft a watchtower kit with this combination. You can craft a flagpole kit combination uh, with this combination, which you really will need to do. Uh, if you don't know, a flagpole in Daisy basically makes it so that items within a 60 meter, I think it's a radius, uh, does not despawn. So anything that you s uh, store in your base, which that's probably why you're making your base, uh, you're going to want to put a... A flag kit down so that your items do not despawn uh, however what we're gonna start with is a fence kit so you just make your fence kit boom there you go and once you've selected where you want your base to be if you're building a base from scratch uh, oops You're building your base from scratch what you'll do is put your fence kit in your hand left click and it'll bring up this little ghost placement uh, so then what you do is you hold left click and it will deploy your fence kit All right, now that we've got our fence plate, our uh, fence kit placed down, we're gonna need to pull out our axe and to start building the fence gate. Uh, sorry, I keep saying fence gate. The fence kit, you need to uh, gather some big wooden logs. So by doing, uh, the way that you do that is come up to a tree and just start breaking it down. It's gotta be a bigger tree because you need to get these logs. Right, see this right here? These big wooden logs here. Not the sticks, not firewood, but an actual wooden log. Okay, so you're gonna bring this over and you want to place it down, attach it. But we need two. So give me one second and I'll come back with another. All right, so now that we've got our second wooden log, go ahead and attach that one. This is now where we have to get out our shovel. So what you want to do now is walk up to it and hold to start building your fence. Once this happens, you'll get your fence kit back. So you can see the fence kits on the ground. That way, if you want to make another fence, you have your fence kit. Uh, and now what you can do with the base built uh, and not like your base, your full base, but the base of the fence, the frame of the fence. Now what you can do is start completing the different parts of the fence. All right, now you're going to need to be cutting down some more trees because we need to make planks. Uh, and the way that you make planks is by taking those wooden logs that we had before. Uh, you're going to need to get new ones, but you take that item, the wooden logs, and cut them down with a saw and what you end up getting is wooden planks so let me go get some wooden logs and I'll show you how that's done alright so now that I've got some wooden logs here what you want to do is take your axe or your handsaw 
and see how it says craft wooden plank you can change to uh, saw wooden log that'll break it down uh, but what we want to do is craft wooden plank so hold it down your character will start sawing this down and what you are left with then are some planks so I'm gonna turn these logs into planks and then I'll show you what to do next all right, so as you can see from those five logs, I get uh, 20 planks. You get four planks from each log, uh, which is going to be more than enough. Uh, but I just wanted to make sure that I had enough. So what you're going to want to do now is uh, if you tab near your fence gate or near your fence, it'll bring up this option over here. And what you want to do is uh, drop your planks in and also drop in your nails and what that's going to do when you take your hammer out is give you the option to uh, build the lower frame or build the upper frame and you're gonna have to build both so what you're doing now is building the bottom portion of the fence or the top whichever one you choose I chose the bottom and then you're going to want to build lower wall And once you have the lower wall finished, you can kind of see this coming together. We're going to go, go ahead and build the upper frame, doing the same thing we've been doing, just using the planks and the nails that are in there. And then we're going to build the upper wooden wall. All right, and there you go. You have a wall. Now, obviously this wall is not gonna do you any good. However, if you built a bunch of these, uh, you know, either around a house or just if you built four or six of these to make a square, um, then you're gonna start coming up with something that looks more like a base. However, we're not done with just this wooden wall. You can actually change the wooden wall and in my opinion, makes really doing this completely worthwhile. All right, now, one thing I forgot to add in the beginning is actually in order to turn this fence into a gate, you're going to need uh, pliers as well. So the way that you do this is you wanna take your metal wire and simply attach it to the uh, fence kit, the fence if you will. Uh, and as you can see, I have 34 nails left and two planks. So in order to make this wall, you did need 18 planks. Uh, just keep that in mind when you're cutting down logs. Uh, but now that we have our metal wire attached, if we put the pliers into our hands, uh, you can build this into a gate. And I'm going to show you in a minute why I think building a gate is the best thing you can do for your, your first base. So now, as you can see, we have an opened gate and a closed gate. Look how beautiful this is. The opening to a base. And... If you add combination lock to it, uh, this is kind of awkward. I don't know the combination. I forgot to look at the combination before I put it on the gate and started messing around with it. However, don't make that mistake. Uh, what you want to do is make sure that you know the combination to the lock before you put it on. Otherwise, this is kind of all for naught. But assuming that you know the combination for the lock, you just Put it in um, by changing the different dials and then holding to change the number uh, and then once you put the combo in the, the combination comes out uh, the lock comes out rather and then it goes back into your inventory and you are free to open this gate uh, because it's your base and it's your gate now let me show you how this would work in a, a base building situation where you could turn just this gate into a awesome starter base up down up down all right so these little gates i'm sure you've seen them before but these little gates combined with that fence gate is gonna make everything that you need for a nice starter base. You're gonna put your flagpole back here so that your items don't despawn. And you're just gonna put your fence gate right at the front of this. I think it'll work either on the inside or the outside, just kind of play with it. Um, but this makes an incredible starter base for just one 
wall, one fence gate, one fence kit. Not a lot of materials. Uh, you can even fit a car in here. However, I wouldn't really necessarily recommend that because it does take up a lot of room. But a small car, if that's your thing, will fit in there. Uh, I've made multiple bases and little sheds like this and just lined the walls with lockers and safes and gun walls and gun racks and things like that. And then what I did is I just saved up resources to make a bigger base. Uh, and you just go from there. You just build from there. But with that it guys, I am going to try to make the video a short one. Keep it nice and short. Uh, if you do like the video, please make sure that you leave a comment, leave a like, and subscribe. Uh, I'm trying to put out, put out videos like once every week or once every two weeks. And, uh, you know, life is busy, but I'm trying to make time for this because I enjoy doing it. So if you enjoy the videos, let me know. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.